Body Estelle it was his wife, and they toured around the Confederacy during the war, entertaining the troops. So this is an authentic recreation of what really happened. Uh, they're going to do impersonations, they call them. They impersonate Mr. and Mrs. Lincoln, and it was all taken from the political satire of the day, what was in the newspapers, in the North as well as South. Uh, and then they go into the song. They will sing the verses, you will sing the chorus. David Franco, our music director, please read the chorus to everybody. The chorus will read the hurrah, hurrah for Southern rights, hurrah, hurrah for the bunny blue flag that bears a single star. Okay. And that's it. Very catchy chorus. <laughs> Good morning, General Lisa. Well, let's keep it nice and quiet. All the stock, please. Get settled in, please. Toby, we need a great coat. When they deliver these one-liners, they may or may not be funny, but you agree with the political content. So you laugh as if they're funny. <laughs> correct or incorrect? That's right. For this audience, it's completely politically correct. <laughs> <laughs> Mocking the Lincolns, but in a good-natured way. All righty. Let's do a rehearsal. Clear the set, please. Coward. It's a fine thing for you to call me a coward when you spend all my salary on stockings. <laughs> salary on stockings. <laughs> Two, one. Toby, Sana. Oh, back to the stack.
Uh, from Virginia, and he was a colonel. Any more Virginia? No, I don't plan to. You must be the missing link, huh? <laughs> <laughs> and that's the long and the short of it. <laughs> and our rights were threatened, the cry rose near and far. Hey, Senator, how'd you like to enjoy that lunch, huh? I'll tell you, that's lunch if they on me. That way, people would have been uh, volunteering. So I've been all bailing over the out the federal government, like <laughs> the UN news and stuff. Mr. Von Bork, shift to your left. Back there. We are rolling. Two cameras. Hey, Mark. B Mark. And background watching the show. Set. Action. And that's the long and the short of it. <laughs> <laughs> we owe you Texas boys a debt of gratitude for putting on these shows. <laughs> Colonel Patton, any man who can't handle a guitar or a fiddle ain't fit to carry a musket. <laughs> okay, uh, now we're going to set up a, uh, a, a rather large shot. Yes. Thanks. Would you please explain to us so we know where we're going to be and who's going to be in it and what's going to happen, okay. sir? Uh, everybody's in it. So the camera's going to be here. We're going to see the, uh, we're going to be behind the performers, the performers are in it, everybody's in it. We'll be high here looking over the entire camp, we'll get all our other reenactors in the shot. Very good. So for right. now, what we have to do <laughs> is to actually clear this area. Now, there aren't too many safe places to go. Let's all fall back. All the reenactors, fall back. I feel it. Chill in the air. It's a fine thing you calling me a coward when you spend all my salary on stockings. <laughs> First lady must look good. If her husband looks like a baboon. <laughs> you must be the missing link, un. <laughs> I begin to wonder who runs the White House. <laughs> Here's 
to our confederacy, strong we are and brave. Like patriots of old, we'll fight our heritage to save. And rather than submit to shame, to die we would prefer. So cheer for the bonnie blue flag that bears a single star. Hurrah!